Hey, what's up everyone and welcome to another reaction to the month of gore 2020 and this time I'm taking a look at a brand new Friday the 13th fan film from the guys that did Never Hike Alone that I took a look at a couple years ago or something like that. What, what was that? Three years ago at this point? Jesus. Was it three years ago or was it two years ago? I hope it wasn't three years ago. <laughs> life is going by too quick my guys uh but this is this one is called never hike in the snow uh by the way it's from womp stomp films as you can see right here this is right there um i put a link in the description if you want to check out this fan film yourself before watching this reaction or if you just don't want to watch this reaction at all because you don't want to hear my weird scratchy voice right now um i'm not feeling very good but i'm still doing reactions you know why because I don't know. Really, I have no reason to do this. Uh, I want to watch it. That's a reason, obviously. But anyway, I did like Never Hike Alone. I was a little disappointed that wasn't a, a typical Friday the 13th film where there was a huge body count. But it, it was good for what it was, which was a, a survival movie. It was a, it was like if Jason was one of the elements and this guy, I forgot his name, has to fight him. Um, and uh, yeah, I liked it. And also you had that Tommy Jarvis uh, cameo at the end. But anyway... Never hike in the snow. Let's watch it. Let's get to it. Let's go. You ready? You look ready. Anyway, let's go. This production is the effort of Wompstown Films, LLC, and its volunteer associates. Never hike in the snow is a product of fan fiction. Okay, so it's just saying that they're not going to make any money off of it. The following presentation contains language and images that may not be suitable for all audiences. Pussies. If you're a little... If you're a little... Uh, sensitive then they'll watch this pretty much as what say sounds like me going upstairs I have a cough drop in my mouth by the way if anybody's wondering <gasps> oh I didn't know he's in this Awesome, okay. Actually, I had no idea. I haven't really been following this movie that much. Oh, that would have been great if I just... If they didn't show the cast right now. <laughs> and he just showed up. I should have figured they would have got him again, right? First one did very well. So... Good cinematography. This guy's running. What are you doing? Where you running from, man? What's going on, man? Why are you scared? This one seems like it's gonna be significantly shorter than uh, Never Hike Alone too. <laughs> I think that one was like, what, 45 minutes long? This one's only 30. And I'm assuming they're gonna have credits, so. This was our final girl for the movie? <laughs> final girl. Oh no, bro! Look behind you! Oh, he's got an arrow. Oh, bow and arrow, nice. I guess he yeah, added a thumbnail, I should just assume. Oh shit. <laughs> <coughs> the appropriate reaction. Actually, I would have dumped massive turds in my pants first, and then I would have said that. Oh, fuck, got him. 
Is this not going to be our main character? <clears throat> or we're going to have to follow him as he has an arrow in his leg? Yeah, that's what I figured. There you go. That's more like it. The car's right there, man. Wait, how did you not see the car? Ah, <laughs> oh, he's gone. Good, just get out. Act like you've never taken an arrow in your leg. Come on, man, get up. Run. Be a man. There he is. Oh! 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 Oh, he squirted. <laughs> a little spurt vert. Ah, oh, that's a little tonguey. Look at that. I, I, I'm not too sure, but I think he's not the main character of this. I could be wrong. <laughs> Oh, there you go. That was a smart last move. To get more people over to get killed. That's a great idea. I don't know why that's so weird. That's such a weird shot. Nice. That's a weird shot of Jason opening a, a, a car hood. That was a good kill, though. Got his ass. Never hike in the snow. All right. So is Tom Matthews actually, or Tommy Jarvis actually going to be our main main character? I thought when it said Tom Matthews, I assumed he would be a. Hey, Chief. He'd be a. What's the word? Just a side character. Car's registered to a Diana Hill. Her hmm. son Mark took the car this Diana morning. Hill. I'm supposed to pick her up from work. Is that a producer? Never showed. Chief, he's only 17. Jesus. What'd you tell her? Just that we found the car and looking for the owner. Good. I guess I'll head over there and deliver the news. Maybe I guess I'll do that. Just that her son is missing. I think that's enough for now, don't you? Yes, sir. What about the report? Get yeah, like Don't Paul Giamatti vibes from this guy. In the morning. Anything else I should do here? Yeah. Pray. You still carry that road salt in your trunk? Sir, I do. Good. Round up all of this business. Spread the salt over the blood. I don't want anybody finding this come tomorrow morning. But sir, this is an active crime scene. Yeah, why do... What the fuck is wrong with this guy? I have everything I need for my report. Why don't you just do what I ask and then beat it? Sir? Okay. No. Oh! I love that. It's gonna be a late night. I love that See they got him. Oh. I love you. Send. I like the lighting in this scene, actually. Ooh. Uh. Hey. Hey, what are you doing? <coughs> 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 what is it? <coughs> 
what he put. What the fuck? Jason. Diana Hill? Yes. I'm Sheriff Rick Cologne. Is this about Mark? Do you have any information? Hey, is that good? We could sit down and talk for a minute. Sure. Uh, right this way. Getting their cough drop. I just thank you. Busted this last one. Well, the good news is we found your car. But I have the unfortunate duty of letting you know that your son is missing. I know this is a very difficult time for you, no. but Diana, I'm going to have to ask you a couple of questions about Mark. Would you be up for that? Yes, of course. Good. When's the last time you saw him? It was this morning. Mark? Yeah, what's up? I'm heading. Come on. Go eat, eat your breakfast before you get murdered by a... What you doing today? Axe wheel and so, fucking serial killer. I was Googling things to do. Take your best here. shot. Mm -hmm. And... Found some woods. Hmm. I go explore. Well, where are they? Listen. Mom, you need to stop Mom. worrying what I'm doing. Never gonna happen. Stop. Okay. It's not gonna go. Don't forget, I need you to pick me up at the hospital at three. Yeah, no, no, no. Mark? Yeah. Be careful. Always. Love you. Let's go. Was he with anyone? Alright. Did he have anything with him? Um, he hasn't really had a chance to make many friends yet. He had his camera bag. That's where he was going to take photos. He's a great photographer. I, I don't know if that helps. Sure, it helps. Gives us something to look for. Guess that's why I said take your best shot. So it's just the two of you? Mark's father left before he was born. It's always been just the two of us. I see. Diana, would you mind if I took a look around in Mark's room? Why? It might give us something that would lead us to him. A clue, a oh, hint. I thought that was somebody in the corner. <laughs> Breadcrumbs? That was somebody with like long hair staring at the wall for a second. You know, when we first moved here, I thought we were finally safe. <coughs> what do you mean, safe? Just get so scared in the city. Oh, okay. Mark would be out all hours of the night with his camera. Okay, so. He went to an area you shouldn't have wanted to. I thought I could finally relax. I wonder where he went. Sheriff? Yes? Did you find anything? No, I'm afraid not. Um, Can you make it a little bit more obvious that you just put something in your... Uh... Let me take this. Dude, he's holding his arm like this so it doesn't fall out. Go for Cologne. Alan, calm down. Go what for is going on? Jason! <laughs> What's going on? Something's come up across town that requires my attention. I'll have my office call you in the morning with updates. Miss Hill. He says I that promise you we are going to do everything within he's our dead. power to find your boy. If you need anything else... Not right now, but he's going to die. Call me directly. I just keep that. Thank you, Sheriff. No need to thank me. Just doing my job. Here's my card. I don't know why. The way he handed the card to her reminded me of how the Joker handed his card in uh, The Dark Knight. <coughs> Wait, 
Oh, shit. Okay. Wait. It can't just show it. Wait, that was the that was the guy from the last movie, right? She just has this in Photoshop? What were you doing? Why are we why are you in Photoshop? Photoshop my face. Oh no. I don't think he's gonna pull through. He's a goner. Jesus. That was a very, very very disturbing cut. Oh, his mother's head! Okay, we're learning about the backstory. That's what I was assuming after he got killed. And then the next scene happened, I'm like, alright, we're just gonna learn how he got here. <laughs> So he watched that he watched that video, obviously. And was like, ooh, I wanna go there because that looked like fun. Or something. I, I don't know. So it's his own goddamn fault. Oh, the crutches. I just got the box set for Friday the thirteenth. Oh god. Oh, that's actually kind of creepy. You can kind of see a silhouette. What's up, fool? Oh, that's a good shot. <laughs> she looks like a it looks like a werewolf skull. <laughs> looks like the Green Goblin skull. <laughs> Well, that's kind of mean. Alright, alright. Pamela. Come, Jason. Come, Jason. Jason. Come on. Come on. Okay. He's got that sweater, though. Good, Jason. Good, Jason. Uh, uh, it's okay. It's okay. uh, I don't want to see it. I'm not afraid. I'm not I'm, I'm afraid. I'm a little afraid. She's like, God, Jesus. <laughs> oh, okay. All right. Him as a kid. Go look at that. Mischievous. Okay. Tommy Jarvis about to break him a piece. <clears throat> nope. <clears throat> that son of a bitch. I fucking knew it. Get after him. Turn your lights off a little bit. <laughs> oh shit. I was expecting him to catch up with him already. Psycho. You're making a big mistake, Sheriff. Cough him. Don't act like you don't know what's going on. What are you talking about? You don't know? Why don't you ask Rick the dick? That's enough. He's still out here, Sheriff. He's still out here. Get him out of here. He's just a ticket shit to do anything about it. We're lucky to be alive, Sheriff. You're like a locked up material, you pussy. Hey, call him a pussy. Was that, was that the soundtrack? Sheriff, what is going on here? Uh, it's just a bunch of local for shit. <laughs> Who the hell is Jason? 
Now's not the time or place. Yeah. You go home. We may get sued by the producer. Talk about it in the morning. That's an order. Copy you, Chief. Hey, you want something to do tonight? Log this into evidence, write up the trespassing report on this son of a bitch, and get this shit heap towed out of here. Hey! Sir. Stay alone so you can get murdered. You're not getting it, Sheriff. Jason's back. How many people gotta die before you wake up? I got you now, Jarvis. Yeah, bang. He's like, what the? F <laughs> I got you, Jarvis. Bang. Was he there? I didn't notice the music played. I'm assuming he was there. I say, this poor guy's about to get got. He has a nice little supply of mess. Where does he get these? definitely have a love for the movies that's for sure I need to watch some of them again a lot of them I haven't watched since I was a kid I got that box set I'm gonna be binging <clears throat> Camp Crystal Lake if I saw that I'd be like mm. even if I didn't never even heard of Camp Crystal Lake I'd be like nah that looks that looks evil you hear the fucking music it just fucking they, whew, so sharp I'm out of here He's gonna die right now. R okay, right. hon. Just wrapping up now. Be home soon. Give the little guy a hug for me. Love you. Oh. Now. Nah. I'd be done. I don't care. Hey. Kudos to this guy. He's trying to be a good guy. You know, but, uh. <clears throat> He's trying. <coughs> He's worried about some Jason guy. He's looking. But, uh. His ass is dead. Imagine a Friday their team game where you're just like, you just, it's like a, like almost like an episodic thing where you play as different characters, 
just go into Camp Crystal Lake. Ooh, I like the little. Oh, I like I like when Lake goes through slots. <laughs> that sounds weird, but anyway, like it, it's like an episodic thing where you just like you keep playing different characters. That's a that's really gruesome looking. That's fucked up. Sir, put your hands above your head. Dispatch, I need backup to my location immediately. Sir, I said put your hands above your head. Dispatch, dispatch, do not be. Sir, I said put your hands above your head. Dispatch, dispatch. Oh. Oh, fuck. Uh, behind you? <laughs> How do you do that? You know, I'm not even gonna ask questions. Oh! Oh! Oh shit! <laughs> oh no! Oh my god! Alright. I don't think he's gonna pull through. Wait, is that it? Is that the end? Okay, it is. Ooh, that was a little abrupt. So, I guess we'll learn more in the future, but like, wow, that was really abrupt. <laughs> that was, I mean, we still have, damn, that's a lot of credits. I'm assuming like the Kickstarter stuff, right? Because I know it was kickstarted. I, I didn't know Tom Matthews could be in though. Now Rick Colon, is he a character from Friday the 13th? Because I do not remember that character. I was thinking that while watching this, he seemed like a character that I just don't remember at all. Let's see. I bet he is. I'm sure some people could give me shit because I don't remember. But I don't remember him being a character, but maybe... Yeah, he was in part six. I don't remember him at all. Why do I not? Oh, I do. Okay. Is he played by a different actor or is it the same actor? I do remember him now. That's what, that's like my favorite Friday the 13th movie too. I, I did not remember his name at all. Anyway, that's his character. I do remember him now. Cause I was about to say, when he said go for cologne, I was like, I was like, ooh, but I was like, wait, hold on. Yeah, cause he, uh, like, he threw him in the jail, so. <clears throat> well, that's cool. Oh, damn! Almost 2,500 Indiegogo backers. Wow. They definitely have a love for the, uh, for the series. I do too, I haven't watched a lot of them in a long time, but. Yeah, no, it's the same guy that plays them, I think. That's kind of cool. That's really cool, actually. So, okay. I don't remember that movie enough, obviously. I watched it a couple years ago. I did a review for Part 6. I don't remember exactly. Does he ever see Jason? I do not remember him at all. That character, does he ever see Jason? Alright, you know, I'm, I'm not gonna focus on it. It doesn't matter. It, it's cool that they got the same actor back. Uh, but, uh, yeah. The characters isn't exactly what I watched Friday the 13th for. I, I do, just not because I want to know about him. It's because I want to see him die. Two really good kills in this, though. I will give them credit. Pretty good kills. There was some CGI in that last one I saw, but that was, that was fine. It was okay. Not bad. Not bad at all. Good stuff. But, uh, yeah. No. Fu fun short film. Really enjoyed it. I do like the first one a little bit better. I feel like the first one did more with the, uh, the premise than I think this one did with its premise. 
It's called Never Hike in the Snow, and like, I was expecting it to be kind of similar to Never Hike Alone, but now you have to also deal with the snow element, and it really wasn't that at all. Um, the snow was really just, um, like a formality, it, really, it, it didn't really, I don't know, it was just there. I guess it, they wanted the, it to be called Never Hike in the Snow, so Never Hike Alone, you know. Which one will be the next one? Never hike. I can't think what the next one would be. Never hike in. Never hike. No, it wouldn't. It'd be, it'd be never hike. Or maybe it'd be like. Maybe they'll switch it. Maybe it'd be like never. Like. The snow. <laughs> I don't know. Never liked the snow. Uh, no, it would be like something like that. They'll switch the, the second word around. I don't know. I'm assuming they'll do another one. I think this one's doing okay. So far. Yeah, 35,000. Pretty good. I don't know if it would be as popular as the first one, but... First one got really popular. I think even Dead Meat uh, watched it, right? Or it, it covered it. That's cool. Anyway. This month is going to be very, very... Um, very interesting because we also have the Voorhees fan film, which is going to be a straight up Friday the 13th movie, which I'm very, very excited about. I will be covering that when it comes out on Halloween Day, which is perfect. The victims of the COVID 19 pandemic and their loved ones. Nice to put that at the end. But, uh, okay, so they had a shot of what's his name? I, for I keep forgetting his name in the. See, this is, this is my thing. I watch these movies, but I do not remember the characters almost ever. Tommy Jarvis, I only remember because he was in three movies, played by three different actors. And my favorite version of Tommy Jarvis is the Tom Matthews one. Um, but I don't remember the characters enough. Like, if you show me a picture of the character, I'd be like, oh yeah, that asshole. But if you told me the name, I'd be like, is it? Uh, too many movies to remember characters from. I'm definitely not going to do that with Friday the 13th. Um, but it's cool that they got the same actor. And what, yeah, I should assume it was the same character. I don't remember the, the go for cologne or, or when he goes bam or whatever. I don't remember that. Oh, why do I not remember that? That is my favorite Friday the 13th movie. I don't remember that. I know those are probably in that movie, but I do not remember that. I don't know why. And I just watched it a couple years ago. So I guess my memory is that terrible. I don't know. I just watched it a couple years ago and, and re did a review for it and everything. So, <laughs> I don't know what happened. I just completely forgot. You can look up my review. I did one. Um, but, whatever. Now I can watch them all. Maybe I will. I, I feel like that's a great background movie. You know? You know, like how uh, you have a background movie on while you're doing something. You know? Cooking. Cleaning. Doing something else. Whatever you're doing, you know. Um, I think that'd be a great one. Uh, that series in general. Because a lot of it is nonsense bullshit. Oh, let's go here and fuck. Oh, Jason just skewered us. Or I guess you just watch, speaking of dead meat, you can just watch the dead meat uh, videos. Actually, I, that's what I might do. That'd be a good catch up. He does a really good job of recapping the movies too. So maybe I'll do that. I don't think I ever watched his Friday the 13th ones. So actually, that's not true. I, I watched the Freddy vs. Jason one. I've definitely watched that one. Anyway. <clears throat> no, I I think I watched the Jason Goes to Hell one because I haven't watched that one since I was a kid. So I was like, oh, I want to watch that one again. But I don't actually want to watch it. So I watched the Dead Meat one. <laughs> I was like, oh, yeah. Yeah, that movie still sucks. I remember. It was weird. All the, uh, whatever. Anyway, there you go. That is that. I hope you enjoyed that um, reaction. I know it probably wasn't the best considering uh, I don't feel good. And also, I didn't recognize all the actors. So. I'm sure people are upset. I'm sure there's other actors in there from past Friday the 13th movies too, but I don't know. I haven't watched a lot of them in a long time. Um, and I watched Friday the 13th for kills. So yeah, we got two really good ones. So bravo to the Womp Stomp guys. Anyway, that's it. Um, that's it. I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you. Until next time, I'll see you guys later. Goodbye.